Okay, I want you to watch me solving number two just to show you that you probably did do things right. It just doesn't end up looking like a very nice um, equation at the end. What is in our AX place here? The 13X, because remember this is AX plus BY equals C. In standard form, we always have these as positives, but when actual numbers get put in place for A, B, and C, they might be negative numbers, right? And we have a case of that here and here, just like we did over here. I'm subtracting the 13x from both sides. I get negative 11y is equal to negative 13x minus 12. And this is what I can already tell this is not going to be an attractive looking equation at the end. Because what am I dividing everything by? Negative 11 does not divide into very many numbers in a nice even way. <clears throat> so negative 11 over negative 11 gives us y. Negative 13 over negative 11 gives us positive 13 over 11x. Negative 12 over negative 11 gives us positive 12 over 11. And that is our solution. This means the y-intercept 12 over 11 would be like 1 and 1 11th. It's really, really close to 2. I mean, no, really, really close to 1. Sorry. <clears throat> 1 and 1 11. The slope would be 13 over 11. I don't want to graph this one. It just doesn't look like it would be very easy to graph. Try number 3 on your own. It ends up looking much more normal with more normal numbers.